Makari. I'm from Providence, Rhode Island. I am a creative, I am an artist, and uh, I just make cool shit. Oh man, I've been out the music for probably like 10 years now. I think the past three years, I dropped this project uh, called the Internet Aquarium three years ago, and uh, just kind of took off, and now we're here. I feel like most of my creativity just comes directly from life. Um, I just like making shit. I can't help it. Um, no matter what I do, whether it's like, if I was like working at Burger King, I'd probably come up with some cool way or weird way to flip burgers. I don't know. I just like making shit. <laughs> Yeah, my biggest influences, I think subconsciously, probably be my, my mother. Um, I feel like just my my ambitious my ambitions and and everything generally come from her. Uh, she used to force me to like summer camps when I was a kid. That I fucking hated, but in hindsight, they like help make me who I am. But outside of that, external sources um, will be like Jack Rousseau, French Naval Explorer. Uh, co-inventor of the Aqualung used to like film these documentaries where he'd travel to like Antarctica and whatever just wherever in the ocean and just explore and discover and document uh, life there and I think it's his fear of the unknown that really attracted me uh, to him and then artists like Lupe Fiasco, Kanye and John Mayer just, just inspired me man I think the, the best part about what I do or what I love about it is just the ability to directly express myself. Like, say basketball players, right? They can be really great at what they do. They can score, they can win, they can all this, but they can't directly, through the, what they do, they can't directly say how they feel. They can't directly... Um, break apart emotions and thoughts. Literally what I do is just put in my thoughts and emotions and feelings and stuff onto songs or onto beats. And um, I love how direct it is. I think that's the best part. Bruh, if I could tell my younger self to be patient, dude, that, that shit would be fucking lit. Because I feel like, even to this day, I tell myself the only thing that's gonna fuck me up right now, I'm in a good spot. The only thing that's gonna fuck me up right now is my own impatience and trying to fucking rush things. and push it out um i don't think my younger self would listen at all but if i got that og conversation be like yo yo young blood young blood slow down nigga that'll be it i am uh currently working on this if you'd like to know what this is i'll tell you what this is this is an ep it's the first in a three-part project called this is weird that I'll be dropping over the next two years, maybe one year and a half. I'm sure. I'm not sure. But uh, I get the phrase from just it just came up naturally in my music. One of my songs I said this is weird, and then I just kept saying it through a bunch of other songs, and I think it sums me up perfectly in how I feel about everything and what this whole Kari thing is. And uh, it, I mean, this is weird, man. The fact that we're here, our existence. Do we exist? Do we not exist? Why the fuck are we here? Why am I in front of this camera? Is that a camera? No one knows. We just come up with this shit because we're humans trying to make sense of our fucking lives. Do we have lives? This is weird. No one can fucking keep up with me because I'm amazing. But uh, if you want to follow me on social media, uh, it's sorry, Kari. Um, if you want to look me up on Spotify and all that shit, it's Kari, K-H-A-R-Y. Uh, it means kingly, apparently, from this African book of names my parents got it from. But I'm not sure if that really matters black people make shit up you know you know i don't fucking know yes yes um is a hot dog a sandwich and why i believe a hot dog is a sandwich it is no different from a hero at all except the fact you generally don't cut a hot dog in half and do a little sus um also a hot dog is like a, a meat right you wouldn't like like the, the actual meat of a hot dog right it, it's not something you eat in your hands like like no one just eats turkey meat in their hands like just like 
unless it's like cut from a turkey. But if you buy a packaged turkey and eat turkey meat with your hands without putting it on bread with other stuff, it's a little weird. But you put it on because you want to make a fucking sandwich and a hot dog. It's technically a sandwich. Uh, this is weird. Um, I'm Kari and you're watching Upload.